Well, listen to this. You can go to a certain grocery store and you might have something besides shoppers in the aisle with you. How about this? Courtney Courtright is in our studio tonight and it could be a real surprise, right, Courtney? That's right, Scott and Mary Alice. We've seen Star Wars, maybe the Jetsons, but how about a robot in aisle five? It makes these funny little sounds, right, to let you know it's there without being invasive. Um, it, it knows when there are humans walking around it. I think he's cool. I like him. At the dumps on Maple Avenue in Amherst, there is a new worker named Tally. We're always bringing new technology, so it's something just new to experience. This robot could be busy throughout the day collecting data. Uh, check accuracy of, of prices. It will check um, accuracy of promotional tags. It will look for out of stock cancels. Helping not only employees. Takes pictures of the shelves, the pricing tags, the images. Um, no other intent other than that. All of that wealth of data now enables the store associate to traverse this very large store um, when there's myopic things that need to be corrected or fixed. But also shoppers like Michelle Wilkins. You just told me where the jerk seasoning was. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to find the breadcrumbs. Tally is part of a four month pilot program. It'll go up and down the aisles in certain stores in Depew, Hamburg, Orchard Park and Amherst. For anything, any new technology is a little scary at first, but I think once they we're not the only grocer that uses this technology. So one, uh, we have comfort in in others using it. But two, I think once they once they see the improvement in out of stocks, once they see the improvement in um, in you know the prices on the shelves versus at the register they they will understand and they will they will feel a lot better about it. Now in January, company officials will take all that they've learned from Tally and see if it'll stay. They'll hope that'll be the case. On your side in the studio, Courtney Courtright, Channel Two News. This